So it's my incredible privilege and honour, and I genuinely don't just use those words, it's a real, real strong feeling at this time, to share with you, and I can feel the goosebumps going already, wow, <laughs> a message of expanding love. Um, our world has got tons of love in it. It's not lacking love. Uh, there is a lack of love at times, sadly. But of course, we can all play our part in expanding love. And that really is the theme here. Love is and love cannot be contained. And you will understand even more in a moment why we say that love cannot be contained. So I'd like to welcome. Um, we have two people on camera now, which is Elaine, I'll give you your full title, Elaine. Elaine Dadson and June. I don't know your surname, June. What's Buckingham. What? Oppenheim. Buckingham. Buckingham. Oh, wow, I used to live in Buckinghamshire. Wow, so there we go. <laughs> Buckingham, got it. Fantastic. Now, Elaine is going to share with us a really, really incredible message as this video goes on, and June is going to sign which is the first time I've ever experienced that within a video. So that's going to be amazing. So Lane, I don't like talking about people that are there who can talk about themselves. So quite simply, I'd like you to introduce yourself and tell uh, those who are viewing our video here, love is and love cannot be contained. Tell, tell our audience a little bit about yourself, please, Lane. Okay, so my name's Lane Dadson and... I wrote a poem basically, I think it's more than 18 months ago now, Ray, mm -hmm. um, with um, with a topic of love um, mm -hmm. in collaboration with Ray. And, um, and yeah, so we've come up with this song now called Love Is. And, well, I'm just blown away. It is absolutely beautiful. And it is spoken from my heart. It is written from my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's written um, with regards to my own journey um, in life. Um, and, and it's written with my own mental health journey, to be fair. Um, the words, that's where the words are from and about love and about loving yourself and believing in yourself. Um, and that's that's where it came from. That's that's the that, that's the area that it came from. And that's fantastic. We're going to move on to that in a moment. This is where it can't be contained. Genuinely. You know, I've experienced writing songs, sharing songs many, many times. But, you know, we're, we're, we've been trying to keep a, almost a lid on this in a way. And I feel it just keeps taking over, which is amazing, incredible. And we'll get more of that as we go through our discussion. Um, what I want to think about is I'll, I'll relay a little bit of the experience I've had of you and knowing you. So love is 100%. Um, you caring um, you're very family directed you care very much about your family uh, you're a very I, I would say spiritual sometimes that's a misused term but you're very spiritual very healing energy um, person and what I'm now going to ask you partly the song but a little bit more your journey what things would you say have happened in your life along that pathway of life that have shaped you into who you are now and what we're going to be talking about in a moment, the song Love Is. So I suppose essentially two questions there. What shaped you, defining moments in life that have shaped you to be who you are now? What, do you what think? shaped me to? Yeah. Um, I, ju I just think that, I needed peace in my mind. I just needed peace um, in my life. And most of my life, I've, um, I not say I've struggled, um, but I've always been very much a people pleaser. I've always been somebody that likes to please and not really spoken out. Um, and it hasn't really done me any favours, to be fair, in the past. And now what I'm finding is that I do have a voice, um, that I do... I can be listened to, um, and this creative side is just is just incredible because I just think that that creative side was always locked up. I think it was never. I think it never really came out. Um, although I did write a song um, about twelve years ago, um, and um, that my son's band played, but 
I now I just feel the best, the best that I've felt for many, many, many mm. years. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just mind blowing. What's what, what's changed that? What, what's what's taken you from, you know, people pleasing and 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 that's not always a bad thing, is it? It's, it's, it's good to care about other people, but if it stops you, if it kind of you know nullifies that creative side, what has been? If there was one defining moment or one defining experience, what's turned that? What's turned you now into a stronger voice and and being? The true, authentic, creative you. What what's changed? I don't know, Ray. To be fair, oh, that's I mean, okay. I yeah. really, no, no, I, yeah. I don't know. I um, I can't. No, that's a really difficult one to answer. I don't know what's changed, um, but it's just given me a real sense of worth, mm. and. Mm just so 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 exciting that I can share such a message um with the world with everybody through yeah. through song and through your music um right. and things just needed to change things just needed to change within me um and life is a journey and I have many modalities that help me along the way um and I think we, we're the only people that uh, or who can change our lives and shape our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's how we choose to do that. Um, yeah. And I think the, the collaboration with the music, music is always lovely to, to uplift, really good for vibration. Um, so it's just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And it's amazing what it's led to. And I guess, you know, like all of us, I, I mean, I look at, it's, it's well documented, throat cancer for me, of course, you know, was a, was a major change in, in my life. You know, I, I would say that was the biggest thing that happened to me. But actually, it's interesting what you were sharing a moment ago, that sometimes we don't see the transformation because it does happen over a period of time. You know, so whatever the thing is, even with that, I look back now and I think I could pinpoint it to that extreme circumstance in life and losing the ability to speak for a prolonged period of time. However, that didn't just happen in a day or two days or a week or, or a month. That happened over a period of time. So actually, it's interesting the way you've, you've, you've answered the question because I think that's really beneficial to others because we don't mm. notice kind of losing our voice almost in a way, in a, in a spiritual, emotional way. Um, but also we don't perhaps notice the full weight of regaining it over a period of time. And my goodness me, <laughs> as the evidence based on somebody who's created with you, you've 100% categorically found your voice. Totally. Um, creatively, it's amazing. I'm just going to turn to June for a moment. I'm, I'm interested, June. How, how long have you been signing? So I started learning sign language when I was nine. Wow. And then I dropped it when I was about 10 because none of my friends around me were interested in it. Mm. And then I started to teach myself off of YouTube. And then from YouTube, I found a choir over on Sheppey and I joined them for a number of years. And then at the age of 16, I decided to start up my own sign language choir and run them. Wow, sign language choir. Yeah. Wow. I'm, honestly, I, I'm, if I come across as being a bit ignorant, I was going to apologise, but you only know what you know and you only don't know what you don't know. Every day is a school day, as they say, and I'm getting that, that amazing goosebumps. I never even realised a sign language choir existed. Yeah. There's three in the Medway area at the minute. You've got one in Raynham, one in Gillingham, and then going out of Medway, you've got one on the Isle of Sheppey. Wow. So you're signing of Our Song Love Is is even bigger than I possibly imagined. Yeah. Wow. And that's the bit that love cannot be contained. And it's such a powerful song. It, it, it's, you know, it's grown its own legs and, and arms and, and, it's, and it's moving. It's becoming its own thing. 
I don't know whether you want to, Lane. It'd be nice if, if you did, but I'll, I'll kind of prep you for this a little bit, which is originally we had the intention of, I'm kind of almost telling it, but I'd like you to add to it too. We were going to release the song on August the 1st, there or thereabouts, which is your 60th birthday. Yeah. At time of recording, with the 7th of July, 2023, I'll let you talk a little bit about that in a moment, the significance, <laughs> okay? Yeah. But yeah. it's, the, the song's out, the song's out, but we've chosen not to share the links publicly yet. And I'd like you to share a little bit more about that in a moment, yeah? So yeah. Um, are, are you signing the interview now, um, June, or are you doing it another time? I'm going to do it at another time. And then you I've got equipment at my house where I can play back this interview and I can sign along to it. I'm just going to have to pause for a moment because we're kind of like we're well ahead of what we're aiming to do here and it's just wow. It's not often that I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lane laughing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now I know that. Thank you. Now I know that. I know that you'll create the video and I can put that in here. And of course, there will be sign for the interview. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, what I'm now going to ask is, and we know the song is going to be the case as well. Without putting you on the spot, Jim, before we go um, back to Lane, um, do you think the choir would, would be in a position to, to sign? 100% yes. I'm going to ask Lane to talk for a minute. Yeah. Because I didn't know that and emotion has just hit me big time. Okay. So Lane, pick up the slack where I am because I'm I'm I, I can feel tears for me. All um, right. So if you could say a little bit about our original plan and how now we cannot we cannot contain the song any longer. What are the plans for the song in terms of it being released? publicly uh, i mean everybody having the links and everything else yeah yeah i mean the um the obviously the original date was going to be on my 60th birthday and um you performing it live on the 29th of july um coming down here to meet me in person which is absolutely phenomenal that will be amazing um and yeah it's just been so exciting since the 1st of july since we first sort of said put the put the links there but coming soon there's just been so much um I've had so much positive feedback I don't know about you Ray oh, but yeah. um yeah. the friends that I've shared it with everybody absolutely loves it everybody absolutely loves it and um and as I said to you last week it was phenomenal that somebody already has said that they'd like to play that at a funeral um that was really touching um, and another contact has said that she might like to use the song in her dance classes. I mean, I never even imagined that that, that would be the case. Um, but Love Is, is although I've written it and you've written the music, it is, it is beautiful, and I think that we think that anyway because we've done it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a great message to get across to people, and love is needed very much so in these challenging times and and i think the sooner that we get i haven't got a problem with it getting out there earlier than my birthday you know because it's just been so exciting thank goodness for that because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it can't that's why i chose this title that well i chose this title genuinely the title wrote itself yeah. love is and love cannot be contained so Officially, we're going to make the links worldwide available on July the 14th, which will coincide yeah. with this interview being aired. And of course, June, thank you so much. You will be there signing the interview. I will, I will make sure that all lines up beautifully. You're going to sign Love Is The Song. And I'm guessing for the choir to be organised, that's kind of future tense. But if we could create that a video of that, that would be amazing to, of course, you know, shine a light on the choir as well. And that's it. That's the expansion of love. So July the 14th, all links will be available. Yeah. Um, and 
July the 29th, a couple of weeks after that, we're actually going to meet because we've never met yet. Yeah. <laughs> Physically. <laughs> um, uh -huh. And absolutely amazing. Oh, the other thing is, um, tell us about August the 2nd, if you can remember. So the day after your birthday. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's amazing. So the, so Love Is is going to be played on the Fly Close radio show um, on the Wednesday evening between five and seven. That's right? it. Well that done. That's when the show is. Yeah. And um, so that's, that's, that's exciting too. You know, the, our song going out on the radio, which is, uh, yeah, it's so exciting. Amazing. So exciting. And, and I've no doubt it will be a day late because that's Huel's show when he um, introduces new music. Um, I've no doubt that he will give you a one day belated birthday shout out as well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's available yeah. online. I'll put links in the description and even for the choir, um, June, as well, if there's any links social media wise, I'll make sure in this YouTube video that absolutely everything is, is down in that description mm -hmm. below for, for everything that we've talked about and more. And of course I can do it on July the 14th and I'll probably be sharing little snippets of this video as well. Um, all of the links. Excellent. Excellent. And for you to understand, I've written a lot of songs and I'm aiming to write a lot more. And I've worked on a lot of collaborations. Love Is is going to be part of a collaboration album. Yeah. Um, and actually, I'm going to say it now. And I haven't planned this. Um, the album, the collaboration album, is going to be called Our Songs. Quite simple. No. Our yeah. Songs. So yeah. a lot of co-creation. So that's the first time that would have been heard. Co-creation with others. And love is, it's not like, you can't have favourite children. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you might, <laughs> you can't. Um, I think the best way I can describe it is it's an energy 100% completely beyond. And this is where it's now forming into a life of its own. And that's magical. That's yeah. absolutely magical. So to be inside that experience and to have had this, it's not even, I, I can't even term this an interview, an experience. Because of what I've felt, you know, what June yeah. shared. Yeah. A sign language choir, and I'm thinking, what? What? Yeah. That's amazing. amazing. And, and when you've said somebody's asked, can it be played at a funeral? Uh, can it be played at the beginning of a dance, someone you know? And it's just, it, it's growing. And I know it's going to be heard a lot. Um, and is there anything you wanted to say as a loving message in conclusion, Lane, um, that you feel you want others to when they listen to the song or you just like to share as a personal message? Um, well, I'd just like to thank you, Ray, for, for the music content. It absolutely blew me away. It was just more than I ever, ever could have imagined. Um, and I truly hope that the song touches people the way that it's meant to. Love is precious, love is pure, love helps to heal, love helps to cure all the sadness and your pain. You've nothing to lose but everything to gain. I'll protect you safe from harm. I'll help you keep your busy mind safe and calm Safe from harm Love is Love is Love is precious Love is true Share your love with me and I'll share my love with you I'll share my love with each and every one Love is a dance 
love is I'll protect you safe from harm I'll help you keep your busy mind safe and calm safe from harm love is after you lot released the song to the public, my choir and I are performing outside our local Costa. Would I be all right to perform that song to the local community of Raynham? I think if you direct that question to Lane, please. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> massive, right, isn't it? Wow. That's massive. That's massive. Somebody can record that. Yeah, um, June's mum will record that. Love is precious, love is pure, love helps to heal, love helps to cure all the sadness and your pain. <laughs> 